what is up everyone Luke here and time for another tutorial Tuesday two things firstly sorry it's been so long I've been working like an absolute slave so I haven't had time to make any videos at all or even train um, especially training for Ninja Warrior which is the most important thing but that's life what can you do and secondly if you see me pass out halfway through this video it's just because it's about 91 degrees and I'm just gonna melt and die but let's crack on with the tutorial this week we're doing the cartwheel front flip, a combo move. Um, you can use it in parkour based training, tricking based training, gymnastics, anything like that. The way that I'm gonna teach you um, is and not too clean, I'm not really worried about form that much, but basically the cartwheel is just used to gain momentum to go into the front flip, okay? So, first step, find out which way you cartwheel. Um, if you've already seen my aerial tutorial and you've already done that, you should know which way you cartwheel by now. Okay, I cartwheel to my left, that means my left hand will be the first hand which goes down. Okay, now with the cartwheel, if you're cartwheeling to your left, you want to have your left leg forward and your left arm forward. Okay, you're going to drive your right leg backwards and over your head, and then your right hand will go down, completing the cartwheel. Very simple movement. If you're doing it with your right hand first, everything's going to be reversed. So your right leg will be forward and your right arm will be up, and you'll drive your left leg round and then your left hand will come down afterwards, okay? Now, the most important thing with the cartwheel front flip is the takeoff. So the transition from the cartwheel into the front flip itself, okay? Usually you'll come out of the cartwheel, imagine I'm doing it this way, I'll come out sort of backwards, similarly to the aerial. What you wanna do from here, as you're pushing off the ground and standing up to your feet, you don't wanna throw your arms to the side that way, okay? And equally, we're not front flipping that way. We are still going over, it's kind of like an Arabian. So as your arms come down from the floor, push up, bring them over your head, and drive into the front flip, okay? If you can see my arms are coming all the way over, and then they're gonna come down, that's the most important bit. If you just bring them across to the side, A, you're gonna twist on a sort of weird axis, and B, you're not gonna get very much height. Okay, so remember, as you plant down, your arms come up, and both feet leave the floor. Everything from there is the same. Tuck your chin into your chest, Bring your hips up, obviously your hips being the um, point of rotation. The higher your hips are, the higher the flip will be, okay? So you reach down and grab your either in front of your shin or under your thighs. And then once you see the floor, if you can, try and spot out either to the left or to the right. Don't actually physically move your head, but just try and look for the floor. Um, release and land the ball to your feet, okay? A few common areas with the cart front is not actually getting enough power into the cartwheel. If you have a sloppy or unpowerful cartwheel, you're gonna have a sloppy, unpowerful flip, okay? As I said before, it's all about the transition from the cartwheel into the flip. So the first part is bad, the flip's gonna be bad, okay? The second common error is bringing your arms down to the side and rotating going around like that. So you're rotating down into the ground and that sort of sideways motion. And the third one is either tucking too early or too late. Okay, so if you throw your arms up and tuck too late, you're gonna have a really slow flip. And equally, if you throw your arms up and then tuck really early, you're gonna have quite a quick flip, but you're not gonna be getting as much height because you haven't allowed your body to set up as you would in a normal flip, like a front flip. Right, I'll go ahead and show you a few cart fronts now. Um, I'll put them in slow-mo and then I'll go through breaking them down as in terms of progressions, how we can start by learning the cart front because obviously no one's just going to run into it, bang out a cartwheel and bang out the best front flip. So we'll take that step by step. Okay, so now I've shown you what the cart front looks like. Um, hopefully you've been able to see and understand what I've been talking about in this tutorial. Just to cover um, quickly how we can start out by actually trying the cart front. So there are a few progressions which I'll run through as quickly as I can. So progression number one, obviously make sure you can do the cartwheel. Progression two, make sure you can do a diving gymnastics roll or a diving parkour roll, don't really matter which. Progression three, this time connect the cartwheel and the dive roll. Progression four, do the cartwheel and dive roll to 
together without a pause in between. So we're making it more like the transition from the part one to the front lift. And then lastly from there, we need to build that dive roll higher and higher and higher until you know that if you were to just pull into a ball and tuck like a normal front flip, you make it round. From there, you can go to the gym. You can try it on sand or wood chip. I wouldn't try it on grass because it's quite hard. Chances are, the first time you ever try your car front, you're probably going to land on something like that. And then you might land like this. And then you probably land here, then higher and higher and higher. And eventually, it will get better until you can land the car front consistently. So guys, just to summarise with the cart front, find out which way you cart will first of all and stick with your dominant side. So if you aerial to the left, you're going to cart wheel to the left. If you do it to the right, you'll cart wheel to the right, etc. With the cart wheel, make sure you drive your back leg over as hard as you can to get as much power from the cart wheel. When you're coming out of the cart wheel, you'll probably end up facing backwards or a little bit sideways. Drive your arms as you push up from the floor, drive them all the way up and reach for the sky. Keep your chest up. Push your hips in the air as you spin around, tuck your chin into your chest, grab into the ball, again either in front of your shins or under your thighs, I like to do under the thighs. As you rotate, try and spot the ground, come out for a comfortable landing, land on the balls of your feet. All right. Use all the progressions which I've told you about, or you can try and get a crash mat and just try it first of all. Um, I'm more of a, a chucker to be honest, I like to just see what the movement feels like and then work out what I'm doing wrong from there. Another great tip guys, always film yourself when you're trying to learn stuff, that's what I do all the time. Whenever I'm trying to learn stuff or improve stuff, I'm always filming to see what I'm doing right and to see what I'm doing wrong, okay? Now, that is the end of our cart front tutorial. I will try my very, very, very best to keep these tutorials up every Tuesday. But like I said, I'm being absolutely swamped with work at the minute. So if I do miss a week, I'm really, really sorry. Like I said, I'll try my absolute best, all right? Now, be sure to check out Spiral Free Runs YouTube. Check out my YouTube. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Be sure to check out PKFR World for all the new tutorials that are coming up from people like myself. Any new information in the park or free running community or anything like that. Take care, train safe, peace.